you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and to all the new subscribers who recently joined, thank you for subscribing and welcome. Today we have a neutral Zara haul as promised. I told you guys this one was coming. I didn't get my hands on all of the pieces that I would have liked to have added to this video, but I am gonna show you what I did end up getting and some of the pieces are very cute. So before we get into the video, if you are just stumbling across my channel and you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So first things first, as always, let's start with what I'm wearing and probably part of the reason you clicked on this video, let's be honest. I got this super cute kind of taupey color cropped blazer. I'm sure if you watch a lot of Zara hauls, you've seen this before and I could not resist. I had to get my hands on this for the color, for the crop, for all of it. I picked this one up in a size medium and I will say I do kind of wish that it was a little bit more cropped and just sat a little bit higher, but honestly, I'm not even really tripping over it. It's, it's totally fine. But I did not own a cropped blazer and I am the queen of cropped. Like I love any jacket or anything that you throw over cropped. Um, and I just thought that it was crazy that I didn't already own one. And the color of this is honestly perfect. It's a very cool tone, beigey taupe color, which I think goes really well with neutrals. It pairs really well with blacks, with whites, with beiges, with so many different things. So I felt like this was a key kind of neutral staple that I was missing. I will say, I don't really understand why it costs $69. That's a little bit expensive for a cropped blazer. You're getting less fabric. The quality of it is just as good, if not less than some of their other blazers. So I'm not really getting that Zara. Like where did we come up with this price point? I'm not really seeing it. However, I love it that much that I'm gonna keep it because you know. One thing that I really liked about it too are these cute tortoise shell buttons. I love that detail. I love tortoise shell because of the colors that are kind of mixed in with it. And tortoise shell I think makes something feel a little bit more casual. So I do love that. Um, under it, I have showed you this bodysuit before. This is one of their staple, like cult favorite bodysuits in white. I'm wearing this bodysuit in a size medium. Honestly, the fit is a dream. I freaking love these bodysuits. There's a reason that they're a cult favorite. As far as the blazer goes, I can definitely see myself wearing this with some black pants, some black jeans. Maybe make it a little bit more casual with some sneakers. You could definitely dress it up with some heels. I think wearing this with some casual, with some sweats or something on the bottom and maybe some heels would be a really cool juxtaposition kind of style. So that's another thing that I'm thinking of. In fact, I had a subscriber ask me to make a video styling sweats and how to make them look chic and kind of dress them up a little bit. So if you're watching, girl, I think that this would be a really cute way to dress up a pair of sweats, throw on a cropped blazer and a bodysuit honestly so easy. The next one I'll show you guys is something that I was wearing in my last video and I got so many comments on it and I kind of thought that I was going to. It's just one of those really great basics that's a great color and it's this oversized button-up shirt and kind of a crinkly material. This color again is a really nice cool neutral beige. I've worn this several times already. I've probably gonna be close to getting my cost per wear out of it. I can't remember off the top of my head how much this was, but obviously I'll leave the details on the screen and in the box below. I got this in a size medium because it is already oversized. I think for someone like me or anyone really who loves to be comfortable and stylish or maybe doesn't have a lot of time to get dressed in the morning, maybe you're a student, maybe you're a mom, maybe you're just busy and you need something stylish to throw on over Maybe you just don't want to show a lot of skin and you want to cover up like this is perfect for so many of those kinds of things. So it's definitely why I got it. And the neutral cool tone of this is very unique and special because, you know, most beiges are pretty warm. So it, this comes in other colors, too. It has a really there's a really nice olive green color, I think, and a couple other ones. So this is definitely a great basic and something that you could take into the summer. Let's also throw a little disclaimer out there because I know you guys can probably see in the frame of the video that there is a piece of color in this haul I couldn't resist. 
and I didn't want to wait until showing you in the next video so I am going to include one item that's colorful. Who would I be if I didn't? The next one I'm going to show you is another basic um, but it's not quite what I expected. I got this cropped white t-shirt thinking that this was going to be you know like a regular t-shirt material i ordered it in a large because i really wanted this to be cropped and boxy um, and from the website it looked like it was going to be loose fitting and cropped and boxy but it's not at all this is actually a stretchy material and so the fact that I got it in a large makes the shoulders kind of fit weird. So I will, I think it's a great basic to have. It's a great layering piece to wear under a blazer like this or something like that. I just think that this is a great staple for spring, but I need to get it in a medium because of the awkward way that it's fitting in the large. Again, wasn't expecting it to be stretchy or tight at all. But that being said, I do think it's a nice quality. It's not gonna be, it doesn't seem like something that's gonna get ruined in the wash right away. And it does seem like a basic that I would probably wear a lot that I know I'm missing. I feel like a lot of us tend to have a lot of tanks to wear as layering pieces, but I think just a basic crop t-shirt like this is great also. And this guy was only $10.90. That's a great price for Zara basics. Cause you know, sometimes Zara tries us and they try to price their basics at like 20s and something like that, where I would pay that much for a bodysuit like this, but not for a basic. So I'm so glad that it was a $10 price point. The next one I got is a pair of jeans, which I was very excited for. I am gonna say they do not fit like a dream. I am gonna keep them because I do like the way that they fit but they don't fit like a dream, like as well as I was hoping that they would. Let me show you them and then we can get into those details a little bit more. So they are these, let's see, what kind of style jeans are these? So these are mom fit beige jeans. What drew me to them is that they have a gold zipper and a gold button that's kind of brushed gold. It's not super shiny or really ugly, cheap looking. And I love the tone of the beige on these pants. I went into H&M and I saw something very similar to this, but the thing about Zara is they just get their tones and colors right to where they look expensive and not cheap. So, you know, I tried these on and I got them in a size US 8. So if you have watched my Zara jeans haul that I did during the summer last year, which is still popular, people are still watching that video, I will link it above. But um, if you remember from that video, most of the jeans that I got in that Zara haul were a US 10 because most of their jeans run small. And I don't know if you've heard other people talk about this because I have, but I think that Zara is adjusting their sizing to where in my opinion, it's a little bit more true to size than it used to be. I used to have to size up in everything, and now I'm finding that I can stay true to size in a lot of things. And this is one of those things that I was able to stay true to size in, which is surprising because they're jeans. So keep that in mind when you're ordering because I sized up in these originally and they were way too big. So these, like I said, they're a mom fit jean. They are a little bit kind of straight leg at the bottom and less tapered than other mom jeans. So that was the thing that I didn't love about them. And they kind of hit me on an awkward place. So I gave it just a little bit of a roll up and then I loved them. I'm gonna do another video of how to add color to your closet like I did before, which you guys are loving by the way. Thank you so much for the feedback on that video. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that just so you guys know. And I think I'm gonna include these in that because I think that these would look so good with orange. The next thing I got is something that I think has been in style for a very long time, but it seems to be extra trending right now. And that is a pair of cargo pants. Now, cargo pants are very nostalgic for me. I love cargo pants and I used to live in cargo pants. So you know I had to pick up the newer version of the cargo pant and it is these black satin ones. These are the ones, now Zara has probably like four different black cargo pants on their website right now. These ones are the ones that have the little side cut out and they do not have pockets on the booty area. They have another pair of black satin cargos with pockets and I'm gonna try those too because I like the pockets. 
Um, other than that, I think that these are so cute. They are satin, but they're not a cheap, thin satin. They're a, definitely a thicker, like, trouser satin material, and they do have some stretch to them, so I did get them in a medium. They fit great, like a dream. Another thing that I really loved about these is the waistband at the top is sort of angled down, so it's very flattering. Anytime there is a waistband that kind of like comes down, you're drawing attention to the center of your body and down, which to the eye is pleasing. And so I knew that when I was looking at them on the website, which is why I picked them. They are a wide leg. So they're, but they're nicely fitted at the top and they do have a drawstring at the bottom. So I can definitely see wearing these with sneakers and heels. Um, when you tie the drawstring, they are pretty wide at the bottom, but I think that they still look cute tied up like that. Um, most of the time I'll probably wear these as a wide leg though, and I think they will look great with some black pumps. I think they'll also look really great with sneakers underneath. So these, and the fact that they're satin, you can make them casual or dressy for that reason. So I think these are gonna be a great staple. They're gonna be great for spring. I'm gonna wear these a lot. One thing that I think would look really cute with these two would be like a graphic t-shirt. And there's actually one from Zara that I wanted to get for this video. And it is the Grease t-shirt. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But I definitely had a vision of wearing that graphic tee with these cargo pants and a pair of black pumps. I just think super cute. Love that t-shirt, you guys know I love graphics. Now, for the one pop of color in this video, I had to get these. I had seen them on the website before I saw them in the store and had to get them immediately because, I mean, look at the colors. That pink and orange is so beautiful. And let me bring it up close too. This is, um, I wanna say this is like a fine knit kind of stretchy material. So these are a flare bottom pant and I just think that with a nice white t-shirt, like maybe a button up t-shirt kind of like this, oversized or not oversized either way, I think would look really cute tucked into the front of these. I love that look of having a really beautiful pattern on your pants and just a plain white or solid color top. Um, I think that these would look very cute with some platform sandals or something like that. It can be very casual, but still fun, if that makes sense. I also think that these are great for vacation. Yeah, I just think that they're a fun, comfortable summer, spring piece. These are a size large. I did try them on in the medium, and I'm gonna say I could have gone with the medium. The only thing that I didn't like is how tight the waistband was around my waist in the medium. I just felt like it was kind of pulling in a little too much. Other than that, everywhere else was fine. It wasn't like over stretching on my booty or anything like that. But I just think that the large was not putting too much stretch or stress on them. And the waistband fits snug, but not quite as snug as I would like. However, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't really matter. Um, the fact is when you get something like this and they're too tight around the waist, it can just look like muffin top and not cute, okay? So that's why I stuck with the large. <laughs> and I cannot remember if I actually talked to you guys about this item, but I did show it in my last video. Yeah, I don't think I talked about it though. Um, it's this really cute black bag with a gold clasp. I got this because I love the structure, shape, and size of it. It does come with a long crossbody strap, which you can remove, and I did take that off because I like to carry a top handle. This is giving kind of Balenciaga inspired, if you know what I'm saying. So that's also kind of why I got it. It's a nice shape, and I think it's classic and won't go out of style. It also holds plenty, like your phone, it can fit your makeup, it can fit so many different things, so you're not restricted on what you can carry. I mean, you can't carry the entire world in this thing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So that is it for all the pieces that I got in this video. Like I said before, I am going to do another video styling these pieces for more outfit inspo like I did with the last one because you guys loved it so much, which makes me so happy. So yeah, I'm gonna do outfit inspo, a little bit more of how to add color to your closet, and I'm just gonna continue doing those things after my hauls so that you can get more outfit inspo out of each piece instead of me just 
throwing it on and showing you one way how to wear it. Um, so I hope that you guys will enjoy those things and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!